Would you love to own a great big stack of wonderful sounding electronics, but you just don't have the room? What if you could buy an integrated turntable? That's right, an integrated amp with a turntable already built into it. Today, we're gonna to take a look at the Macintosh MTI 100. Hi, I'm Joe with Gramophone, and today we're looking at a product called the Macintosh MTI 100, and it is actually an integrated turntable. This won the Hi-Fi Plus Editor's Choice Award in 2021 because it's such a cool and unique product. Macintosh calls this a modern home system for modern lifestyles, and it really is. Let's take a look at what you get. This is first and foremost a Macintosh. So if you want a product from one of the most esteemed makers on the market, but you don't have a lot of room for where you're gonna put it, you're in the right place. This contains a powerful amplifier. It contains a tube preamplifier, a tube phono amp section, obviously a turntable and tone arm. What might not be so obvious is the tone arm comes with cartridge, all balanced for you already and a nice digital section, so there's plenty of ins and outs in the back for connecting both analog and digital inputs. In other words, this is a lot of product. Even, if you can see this little Bluetooth antenna, even allows you to stream Bluetooth into it and sounds really good. You know, sometimes when we talk about a compact system that doesn't take up much room but sounds great, people think high-rise buildings and big cities, but almost anybody, even if you've got, let's say, a great big home theater and a great big basement, you might have a den or a bedroom or another place where you'd like to have great sound without a lot of compromise, but there just isn't too much room in that space. And the MTI 100 is perfect for that kind of application. So let's start off just by talking about control a little bit, how you actually control the product. Macintosh includes a remote control that actually feels really good in your hand. And it's got all the basics, obviously power on and off, volume up and down and mute. You can select tracks, pause, skip backwards and forward. All those kinds of things are included in the remote. And then let's take a look at what you can do with control actually on the unit itself. It's actually very simple, but you've got some things that are kind of dual function. So it doesn't have a busy look, it's got a clean look. This second button here, press it, and I think you actually heard that click that it made as the unit turned on. So it's both volume up, down, and on off when you press the button right in the center. You also probably notice, uh, you know, you got starting to get some Macintosh lighting up here, including these Mac green lights underneath the Phono preamp and the preamp tubes. So now let's come over here and take a look at the front switch which is both your selector, so phono, Bluetooth, coax, optical, and auxiliary, but also when we press, it starts the turntable up. So again, a lot of control with really very little additional switches on the product. There's one more thing that I wanna point out to you, and that's right over here. We've got this belt on the top spindle. That's because we've got an LP, a 33 and a third, uh, record here. If you want to play 45s, this slightly larger spindle down below is the one that you would switch to. So let's just turn it off and you can see how simple it is to move the belt down to the larger spindle to get your 45 records played. Now let's talk a little bit about how this whole system sounds because for the little space that it takes up, it sounds amazing. First thing I want to point out that Macintosh included a headphone connection and a nice sounding headphone amp that they call their high drive headphone amplifier. A nice feature too about the headphone amp is that it automatically mutes these speaker outputs. So if you're planning on some late night cranking, you don't have to worry about waking up the other family members, connect the headphones, all of a sudden it just mutes the output of the speakers. Let's talk about the power amp just a little bit. It's 50 watts per channel into an eight ohm load and 80 watts per channel into a four ohm load. So it's actually got plenty of power on board for all kinds of speakers that are out there. And if you ever wanna hook up a really power hungry pair of speakers, it does have preamp out jacks, which we'll see when we take a look at the back. They've mated that wonderful power amp section into a tube preamp. 
And the combination of the vacuum tube preamp and the solid state power amp sounds really nice, especially given how little real estate this takes up. Okay, let's get close up and personal with the MTI 100's back panel so you can see what your options are. We've got a Bluetooth antenna input on the left-hand side here. You, you do have to screw in the Bluetooth antenna, but that's really easy to do. Digital inputs, you have both an optical in and a coax in. Here would be, for example, your TV, let's say, if you want to get much better sound from your television than a normal flat panel with those tiny little speakers would have. Also, a streaming device, and we do have a streamer hooked up, so you can get your high-resolution streaming from Cobuzz or some of the other services that are out there. Next to that, you've got analog inputs. You might have a CD player or even, you know, going back, a tape deck of some sort. You can plug that in here and enjoy that. Here we've got what I think is a terrific feature, a sub out. Oftentimes, if you're using a smaller speaker, it's gonna sound great through most of the range, but in comparison to a bigger speaker, it may fall a little short in the bass. Well, with a sub out, you can connect a subwoofer, tuck that somewhere else in the room so it's not so visible, and now you've got small speakers with big speaker sound. Here you've got the connections, the preamp out connections, for hooking up a big power amp if you choose to. Remember to leave these clips plugged in because if you remove them, the product is gonna think that you're hooking up a bigger power amp and it'll mute its own output, okay? It'll basically discontinue the ability of the thing to give you power. 12 volt trigger out, very handy in terms of turning on an, an accessory device like, again, the streamer that we've got hooked up here. I love these beefy Macintosh binding posts so you can use just bare wire here. You can use spade lugs or bananas, which is what we've used. Bananas make it really easy to plug in and out, uh, but you've got some nice multifunction uh, speaker connections back here. This is just a service port if the unit should ever need some service. And this is a feature that I wish more manufacturers would use. Instead of just connecting the power socket to the back of the unit, they give you the ability to upgrade to a better power cable and that can actually make a difference in terms of how the product sounds. Now, if you're choosing a system like this, probably you want a simple system. So the good news would be if you have to do almost nothing to get it set up, and that is the good news. There's so much that's already done here for you. This tone arm is sourced from a company called VPI, another American manufacturer, as are really most of these other turntable parts. It's all assembled in Binghamton, New York. But the tone arm itself, the calibration with the counterweight, the anti-skating mechanism, the cartridge has been pre-installed, all that's taken care of for you. In terms of setup, there's really only three things that you have to do, and they're all really easy. The first, you've actually got to put this belt on. That, of course, is as simple as belt on, and then, like we said, 33 and a third is the top spindle. The second thing is, You've got to take these vacuum tubes for the preamp and the phono preamp and just pop them in. No problem at all. And then thirdly, put these protective wire cages over them. The reason for that is Mac doesn't want to ship this with the tubes already installed. There would be some risk of damage in shipping. But you do those three things and this is pretty much ready to go. So continuing the theme of how easy this product is to operate, let's just actually play a record for, for a moment so you can see how easy this is. It is in fact a fully manual turntable, but that doesn't require too much from you. As we said earlier, when you're on the phono input, just press that button on top, starts up the turntable. We can take our tone arm and move it over the record. You've got a little lever here that lowers us down onto the record. And then when we're at the outro, like so. Just remember that you're gonna actually have to lift the lever again. Tone arm comes up, we swing it right over, and we use our power button to turn the motor back off. Simple, just like you want it. So two more things for us to think about. One is just to actually say, this is a Sumiko Olympia moving magnet phono cartridge. It's a really nice sounding cartridge. Of course, you can upgrade it if you wish. I love the fact that the cartridge is a good one and it's pre-installed. 
but you do of course have the counterweight back here that you can move back and forth if you choose to go to another phono cartridge. The last thing that you really need to know about this system is its dimensions. For everything that you've got in here, power amp, preamp, phono preamp, both of those tubed, your digital and analog connections in the back, the turntable, tone arm, all this takes up very little room, but you should know that it is about 19 and a quarter inches wide, which is a little wider than a standard 17 inch, let's say stereo receiver. The other thing is, it's a little bit deeper than normal at just over 14 inches. Now, because you're gonna hook up obviously your power cable and your speaker cables and so forth, we'd recommend that you make sure you've got about 17 inches or so to play with. So you've got room to make those connections without getting everything all, you know, kind of cramped up. So roughly 19 and a quarter by about 17 inches deep, and you've got enough room for this complete system. For such a compact, simple system, this Macintosh MTI-100 sounds great. And remember that even though it's got plenty of power on board for most speakers and most size rooms, you can always expand if you want to into a bigger power amp and or a subwoofer so you can handle bigger situations with even more bass potential. Come to Gramophone's Experience Center in Timonium, Maryland and give it a listen. We've got it on display and we'd love to play it for you. We look forward to you coming to visit us at any of our three showrooms in Timonium, Columbia, or Gaithersburg, Maryland. Check out our Experience Center, where this is located. We're very proud of it. Don't forget to check out our Kitchen Design Center in Hunt Valley, Maryland. We look forward to seeing you soon, and thanks for watching this video.